Thank you, Carol, and welcome, everyone, uh, to a conversation that I think is extremely important, both for the nation and for the nation's children. I suspect that everyone in this room is keenly aware not only about the budget challenges faced by the United States, but the apparent depth of disagreement about what to do. There's no question that the fiscal challenges before us are serious, complex, and urgent. There's also no question that decision makers are gridlocked, despite how much is at stake for all of us, especially for millions of vulnerable children and families. But as I've reflected over the past year on what the nation's debt problem uh, means to children and families, I have repeatedly found myself focused on what seems to be a powerful and promising point of view, common ground. From where I sit, not only does there need to be common ground and fast, but it seems to me there actually is a great deal of common ground, even actionable common ground, in three areas. First, there's common ground on the importance of children. This can be seen daily in public statements by policymakers on both sides of the aisle, as well as in public opinion polls. Second, I see common ground around investing in evidence-based programs those that have been proven to achieve real results for children and families. The recent expansion of evidence-based programs in teen pregnancy prevention, education, and home visiting holds tremendous promise for moving the dial in significant ways for disadvantaged children and youth. Continuing to scale up these and other efforts is critical to future success for children and for society. Third, there are many common ideas and shared recommendations among leading budget thinkers about what it will take to achieve debt reduction. I realize not all the recommendations are popular and that consensus is hard to sustain when working through specific legislative provisions. But when so many experts point to the same set of solutions, it seems like we should heed their advice. In thinking about today's budgetary challenges and the implications for children, I'm reminded of the fable about the emperor's new clothes. The grown-ups in the story watch and see the situation for what it is, but are all reluctant to tell the emperor that his new and expensive finery is imaginary, that he is actually parading around naked, thinking he is wearing fine and fancy robes. The emperor would have continued under this false understanding had not a child spoken up and pointed out to the emperor that his clothes were non-existent. Perhaps we are in an analogous place. As we quickly near the fiscal cliff at the end of this calendar year, it may take a child or the interests of a child to truly motivate others to take action. Let's point out that the emperor has no clothes or at least no money and find a solution based on common ground that bodes well for today and especially for the next generation. For our lecture today, we have three distinguished guests who share their important expertise on budget matters and children's issues. After we hear from them, I'll kick off a question and answer period. Our first speaker is Mindy Levitt from the Congressional Research Service. She will set the stage by providing a brief overview of key considerations for deficit reduction with an emphasis on those areas that have emerged as common ground among budget panels and experts. Next will be Jean Sterling, an Urban Institute Fellow and holder of the Richard B. Fisher Chair and writer of a blog, and you can all sign up for this blog on the back table. Uh, he will further explore the fiscal dilemmas we face and where there is common ground. After Jean, Patrick McCarthy, President of the Annie E. Casey Foundation, will focus on common ground provided by evidence-based programs, a way to invest wisely. I think that it is the conjunction across these three types of common ground that is critical, that these elements of common ground could provide a framework for discussing a way forward. Children matter, evidence-based programs are valuable, and common ground on debt reduction approaches exists and should serve as a strong guide for policymakers who make decisions in the coming months. Let's begin with Mindy Levitt from the Congressional Research Service. 